Melissa Loopers, Melissa here with LovableLoops.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to assemble the pieces of your graph can. So if you are making a graph can like I did that has more than one pixel graph that you're, um, you need to attach together to create the graph can, this is how you can attach those pieces. So I'm going to start here at the bottom, these bottom two corners, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them going up this way and then I'll flip it over and then go along the back side. So what you want to do is you want to find the third stitch in. So you know your corner, there's four stitches. One, two, three, four. In that third stitch, this is how I do it. I know there are different ways of doing this. This is just how I assemble mine. Um, you're going to pull your yarn through the front loop only. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side, the other piece. So one, two, three. So I'm going to thread my um, yarn through that front loop only. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down. And I believe it's called a whip stitch. You'll be whip stitching the pieces together um, in the front loops only. And then when you do the back side, you'll be doing it through the back loops. So... I'm actually going to turn my pieces this way. It's a little bit easier for me. Um, okay, so we just did that third stitch. So now I'm going to go to the second one in here and just through the front loops, pull your yarn right through. Okay, now the next one is going to be that first stitch for the corner. So just through the front loop. Okay, now I know this can get confusing because you're just doing it through the front, front loops of the stitches. So what I do in my head is for each section you had made three double crochet if you followed um, the pattern for on how to make a border. I'll link to that below. So in my mind what I do is I just do first, middle, last, first, middle, last. And then that way for each section, I'm making sure I'm staying on track because I want the exact same stitch on each side to be connected to each other so that it's straight, okay? So let me demonstrate that for you. So now I'm gonna be working this section here, the first section. Okay, going through the front loop of that first stitch, going through the front loop of the first stitch in the other side. So first, middle, last. Okay, and you can see my next stitch is going to be the next group on both sides. So this is just a helpful way of keeping yourself on track. So for the next section, first, And if you notice, my um, my tapestry needle, I'm always going this way. So again, watch closely here for this next section. So first, I bring my needle back, going in this direction away from me. Front loops only. So first, pull that yarn through. And then I come back. And again, moving away from me. Middle. And again, moving away from me, last. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and do this all the way down the line. So for each section, first, middle, last, when you get to the last corner, or to the, the end, <laughs> you're gonna work up to that third double crochet. So one, two, three, okay? And in the front loops only. And then we'll meet back up and I'll show you how to do the back side. Okay, so when you're done with the front side, go ahead and flip it over. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark that fourth stitch so that I don't accidentally work into that. So the fourth or the last stitch on each corner. I'm going to go ahead and mark it. 
Okay, and now I need my yarn, which is in the front. I need it in on the back side now, so I'm just gonna pass it through those two stitches there. Okay, and then I'm going to, in the back loops only now, I'm gonna whip stitch, I believe that's what it's called, all the way down. Okay, so that was in the third stitch there. And you can see here, if you look down the line, because the front stitches are stitched together, the back sort of just like a zipper like comes straight up together. So it's pretty easy to see. You still wanna make sure you're not getting it confused and you're doing your first, middle, last, so that everything's lined up properly, but it's much easier to see where you should be placing that tapestry needle. Just go all the way down. Okay, and then if you are attaching another section on top of the, these two pieces, so for example, my graph can is going to be four squares, you'll basically do the same thing to attach the top two pieces to the bottom two pieces, and then you will be working in. So when you're working through here, you'll work right into the top of, when you're doing the front side, you'll work into the top loops here, and then you would also want to make sure that you attach these two loops here. So you'll do those again. Those third stitches you had attached here, you'll do them again here, and then the fourth stitch will be worked at the top. Okay, and you'll do the same thing. You'll do the uh, front stitches for the um, front, the right side, and then through the back stitches on the back. All right, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you'll get alerts when I post new videos. And thank you for watching.